So, Kate, I understand that this delicious recipe came to you in the middle of a huge snowstorm at your cabin. It sure did. Uh, the snow was as deep almost as deep as my little two-year-old son was tall. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and his dad were out there uh, shoveling snow on a day oh. that when we uh, oh, just, wow. it was just gorgeous. And I uh, came back inside to get the camera really fast and take that picture. That, that picture is was the picture. Beautiful. Yes, From on that day. day. And then I came back in and the phone rang and it was our next door neighbor who said, would you like to come over for a potluck dinner? And I said, well, sure. So I went to the fridge and looked at what was in there and I had a lot of root vegetables and it's kind of just while they shoveled, I made this pie. They you know, shoveled a path to your neighbor's house. They did. <laughs> yeah, they had yeah. done it. They had worked up an appetite to yes, eat your shepherd's pie. Did. Well, we are going to make that exact shepherd's pie today. And that ended up becoming a family tradition. It did. And it was yes. just what you had in the house. And it's really mm. simple and really delicious. Yes, it is. So it mm. starts with our onions over here, which we have been sauteing, right? Yes, we saute the onions. There's some garlic. There's some uh, there's some thyme in here, marjoram, bay leaves, a little salt. So we're going to do that. And then... So basically, uh, whatever herbs you have in the pantry just put them in yeah, anything green okay anything <laughs> green will work okay. and then you add some cider we're gonna add the cider uh, this could also be pear uh, juice it could be apple cider interesting absolutely it could be hard cider anything is fine we're gonna add some um, flour to this and it's okay if it clumps up you just kind of it's a thickener. Yeah, just to thicken up, and that could be gluten-free or gluten-free, uh, mm. gluten-free or gluten-full flour. Then we'll put in our chicken stock or vegetable stock or whatever Bone stock broth, you've got. Whatever you exactly. have, right? Exactly. It's cool how many yeah. options there are. This is great. How like for, interchangeable it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. For it's whatever a, your eating style is. How long do we let that reduce? We'll let that reduce uh, for about five, ten minutes or so, okay. and then we'll set that aside. All right. This and is so then. Yummy. Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, it looks so good. good. So good. while it's reducing, we have our other vegetables going mm -hmm. over here. So these are our root vegetables. Uh, we've got some uh, parsnips, carrots, uh, onions, but whatever you have. Literally, whatever Works. you have, yeah. just throw it yeah. in there. Yeah. Really. Put some more olive oil as well. Mm-hmm. And that could also have leftovers. You could have leftover sausage or uh, chicken oh, sure. or whatever is that in there. Good. It's just sounds good. Yeah. And, and then, then do we combine? Yes, we're going to combine all of that in here okay. along with these sautéed mushrooms. We're going to put all of that in, mix it oh. up. Mm. Let that, that looks cook. good just like that. I would Why eat that. Stew. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we'll just let that cook. Okay. And then we will pour it into um, a baking dish. A beautiful I'll bring baking this over dish. Here. There you go. Okay. And then this will go into uh, over here. Okay. Now to top that off. Because that's not enough. A shepherd's pie needs to have something right. crunchy on top. It's, a, it's not a shepherd's pie unless it has mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. So, Correct. But these are special because we put in also some cheddar cheese in here. Oh. It's got some butter, some salt, and mm. some thyme mm. again. Yummy. And we're just yes, going to take this and put this on top. <laughs> oh, yummy. If you were really fancy, I suppose you could have one of those piping things. And oh, sure, around, but, you know? you know, you're living in a cabin. It's rustic. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Why would and you it wanna... tastes good. No yeah. matter, you know, either it way. It tastes better yeah. this way, I think. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Do you still do your pie baking classes? I do. I teach pie camps across oh, the country oh, and at my house. What? Yeah. Did you wait at that house that we saw? Well, I'm not in that little house oh, anymore. I now I'm in a little there. cottage. So. Wouldn't that be like Maria's heaven? I know. Pie camp? Yeah. Pie camp. Pie yeah. camp would be amazing. I mean, honestly. Maybe my heaven. Yeah, yeah, you should true. come to pie camp. I'm absolutely come. Oh, we've all been invited. And, and, we're you're, gonna... and you'll feed us, too. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. So will Duncan, my son. <laughs> and now we're just going to... the pie camp, too. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We're going to top this with some cheddar cheese. The sharper, the better. Okay. And then now... Now we pop it in the oven. We sure do. For Here how we long, go. Kate? This is going to go heavy. in a 375 oven what? for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. And then oh, voila. We'll, take out, <laughs> voila. we'll take out our finished one. Oh, oh it's so yummy. pretty. Yummy. Beautiful. Yes. Yay. Really beautiful. And we'll put it here. And let's dish up some, shall we? Do it. Oh, my gosh, right out of the oven. Here this go. is perfect. Yummy. Here we go. Oh. What did your neighbors think? Did they love it? Yes. They did. <laughs> we were invited over many times. <laughs> There's something so comforting oh my about gosh, yes. pie, right? Yeah. I mean, it just yeah. really is so cozy. Yeah. And again, you have any of it's Go ahead, have a bite there, whatever you want. Absolutely. Oh, this cheese looks yes. amazing. Yes. Kate, we are so honored to have you here in we our are, kitchen. We are, we are. Thank really. you so You're much for this. Ever. Oh, I haven't even tasted it, and I love you so much. For the full recipe, everybody at home. Visit hallmarkchannel.com, and you can connect with Kate on her website as well. Thank you again, Kate.